Hello everyone, I am Magesh. I have secured the R14 in GATE 2022 under the branch of Metallurgical Engineering. Let's move on to the question and answer session. The first question is, what is your name and where have you done your engineering from? Myself, Magesh, and I have completed B Metallurgical Engineering from PSG College of Technology, Coimbatore. The next question is, which paper of GATE you appeared in and what was your rank, GATE score and marks in GATE 2022? I have appeared under the paper of uh, Metallurgical Engineering which has the code MT and I have secured uh, R14. My marks is 75.33 out of 100 and my gauge score is 859 out of 1000. The next question is, how many times have you attempted the gate exam? I have given the gate exam twice. Last time I have secured uh, R176 with a mark of 66.67 out of 100. The next question is, when did you decide that you want to attempt GATE exam as a serious career option? When did you start preparing for GATE 2022? I only wanted to get into PSUs, for that the only way is to crack the GATE examination, that too with a good score. So I started preparing for a GATE examination right after my graduation. And I also started preparing for GATE 2022 around the month of August. The next question is, how did you choose GATE or other career options such as CAT, private sector jobs, etc. Like I said, I only wanted to get into PSUs. Also, I wanted a technical career or management. So, I chose GATE instead of CAT. The next question is, what was the difficulty level of GATE 2022 MT paper? Honestly, this year, the paper is uh, slightly difficult. They have added uh, multiple MSQs which had not been asked in the previous years. Apart from the MSQs, the question is CST to moderate. The next question is, how find my test, test series helped you? This test series helped me to rectify my mistakes which I used to do in the past and it also improved my accuracy and uh, time management. Also they have covered uh, every nook and corner of the entire syllabus uh, within the test series. The next question is, which books did you follow for gate preparation? Please name some very important must-read books for GATE. Uh, I, I used only very standard books for uh, my GATE preparation. For thermodynamics, I uh, used to see an, uh, BS Murthy's videos which is available in NPTEL in YouTube. It uh, rekindled my interest in metallurgy. It is very interesting. Then for uh, non-ferrous extraction, I used the book of extraction of non-ferrous metals by H.S. Ray. And for iron and steel making, I used uh, Ahindra Ghosh. For physical metallurgy, I used the Callister. Then for mechanical metallurgy, I used the book of mechanical metallurgy written by George E. Dater. It covers an entire syllabus ranging from physical metallurgy to manufacturing process. Then for other topics, I used my handwritten notes. Then the next question is, what are some important topics that should be specially focused by the gate aspirants? Uh, the important topics are uh, thermodynamics and mechanical metallurgy. Also, don't leave out the engineering mathematics from your uh, preparation, which is the mistake I did in last uh, year. Also, I suggest you to prepare the whole book of uh, Mechanical Metallurgy by George E. Data. It covers uh, a very wide range of syllabus. So, every year they ask uh, 30 to 40 marks straight out of this book. The next question is, what was your uh, revision strategy? Whenever I study a new topic, I made my very own handwritten notes which I used to revise a month before the gate exam. Also, a month or two before the gate examination, I only used to solve all uh, previous year question papers and uh, questions from test series. It helped me a lot. The next question is, what was your strategy for attempting questions in the exam? Uh, for me, I always started with a general attitude. After that, uh, I attempt only uh, very easy, uh, simple and uh, very direct questions. After that, I go for uh, problematic uh, and numerical answer type questions and uh, questions uh, which I have uh, slightly confusing. Uh, the next question is, uh, what was your daily timetable? I have made uh, 10 to 12 timetables, but honestly, I haven't followed any one of the timetable. It just doesn't suit my type of uh, studies. So I didn't follow any timetable. Sometimes uh, I feel very low, so I take the entire day off. But uh, sometimes uh, I feel like I could study more. So I spend extra hours for my studies. It depends on one's mindset. Then the next question is, uh, any suggestion for gate empty aspirants? 
uh, see gate examination is not uh, impossible to crack with a sufficient preparation and hard work anyone can crack the gate examination that to flying colors so i suggest you to start studying prepare well and all the best for success thank you